Hi guys, if it's Tuesday, it's Down and Dirty Woods Craft. Stay with me. Okay guys, today we're going to do a real quick little repair to my gear. Something to add. Now, I've been running this pack now for a little bit. And as you know, I put these straps onto it, these old World War II pads to make the straps wider, but they want to slide down too much. Now, not while I'm wearing it, but when I go to pick it up or whatever, they just slide down. So I want to find a way to anchor this to it. Now, there's several different ways I can do it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my speedy stitcher and do a quick repair, a quick improvement. Now, something we haven't talked about a lot in these series is having a repair kit, having something with you that you can repair or fix your gear in the field as you go because things are going to happen. You're going to tear a pair of pants, you're going to tear a shirt, you're going to tear a strap, whatever. Something's going to pop loose. And it's one of those things, if I don't fix it now, it'll be far worse by the time I get home. So, I need to repair it in the field. So you need a small repair kit, and we're going to do that very shortly. We're going to do a, 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 a video just on repair kits and what I carry to have maximum use capability. But for today, we're going to do a real quick stitching thing using a speedy stitcher. And if you don't know how to sew, you don't have an idea, a speedy stitcher is one of the best things you can have. So let me show you how to set this up. Okay, here you can see the strap as it comes off the pack, and here's my extra... Uh, wider strap pad we'll call it goes right there now what i'm going to do to keep this from sliding around and everything is i'm going to get it in position and then i'm going to go through right here through this band going across the top over the strap itself and just do a little tack there just to keep it from sliding okay now i could go all the way through but that might produce a knot or something there where i tie it off that might bug me it may end up on top of my shoulder sometime and you know it's hot you wearing a thin shirt every little thing irritates you so i want this as smooth as i can get it so i'll go through right there and then with my speedy stitcher which i've got and i don't carry this in my kit i keep it at home but i could carry it in the field like i'm doing today I unscrew and there's a spool in here that's already got thread in it that comes through through this tensioner and comes up the center now i have three different types of needles to choose from to do this job and for this one I think I'm going to take the curved needle so what we're going to do is we're going to put it coming up through the slot like that we're going to put the needle into it just like that and then we're going to Put this cap over the whole thing. If my thread will cooperate. There we go. Screw it down. Make sure the thread's in that proper slot so it can feed. Screw that down so it holds, making sure the thread moves up. Yep, it does. Now I'm going to put the thread through the eye of the needle. Sometimes it helps to pinch it to be a little bit of a more flat. Like that. And I'm going to pull me about a 6-8 inch long tab off to begin with because that's going to be how I anchor the far side. Like that. Plenty of thread. All right, now I'm going to take, put my pad in position. Turn right here where you can see it better. I'm going to come right here in the center. I'm going to take that needle, and I'm going to go all the way through both layers like that. Now when I do, on the far side, I'm going to pull... And I'm going to take this long piece of thread and pull it completely out on that side. This is wax linen thread, by the way, guys. 
All right, now I pull back to me. Now, turn that up a bit. I'm gonna go right next to it, spacing over about a quarter of an inch, and I'm gonna push through again. This time on that back side, when I pull back, see it makes that loop right there pop up. I hope you can see that. That loop right there. That's what I'm gonna now take my long thread and go through. And that traps it on the far side. I pull it and I pull this back to this side and I pull the two threads tight. Now I scoot over a quarter inch, making sure my strap is staying square to my other strap. Put in and push, just like that. Flip up, pull back, there's that loop. Now I take and go through the loop just like that. Grab a hold of it, pull back to me, pull the thread tight. That's how I run the stitcher. Now let me get you a little closer so you can see that loop a little easier. Okay, now I'm gonna take, making sure my strap's staying square to my work. There's my loop in. I'm gonna pinch it, come over just a quarter inch, hook it, Shove it through, just like that. Shove it up, and now watch right here when I pull back. See that loop form? That's what I'm gonna take this loose piece of thread and go through, just like, just like that. And then I just pull it. Now I pull back to this side and pull the two tight together. That's all I gotta do. Up here, a quarter of an inch, make sure my pad's in the right place, pinch the two together, take, punch it through, go in, pull back, there's my loop, I take my running end, and I stick it through the loop like that, and I pull back. Now, I've created a line of stitches right there that's going to hold that for what I needed to do to keep this from sliding. How do I finish it off? I could tie a knot, but it would be better just to go back in the opposite direction and do it again. Now what that's going to do is going to tie the knots together. It's going to put it where it doesn't want to unravel because it's unraveling in two different directions. So I now pull my slack out of the way. I come back and I go back over like just past that last notch I did, and I'm going to push through, just like that, pull back for my loop, come through my loop, pull it, pull back, cinch up. Now I'm going to drop down right below it. And so now we have the improvement. Now my straps are gonna stay in position and they're not gonna roll around so easy on me, slide down. And I can adjust my straps. And I got plenty of room to go up or down like that. All of that, just the use of a speedy stitcher. Now, being able to repair the gear in the field, being able to adapt gear in the field is a big thing, guys. And having some sort of method of doing it, carrying a micro sewing kit, carrying one of the other small repair kits, which we're gonna talk about in the near future, all add up to your ability to adjust on the fly to whatever life throws at you. Because what if I got in here and this strap broke? What if I accidentally cut this strap? Go and put my knife back and I cut my strap. Well, I have the ability to sew two pieces of strap together to get me home. So I've got the opportunity to fix the problem. You've just gotta be able to have something in the way of it. We can carve, we can whittle, whatever, but whittling up a needle is kind of hard. It takes a lot of time and effort, and it's far easier just to carry it. So some sort of repair kit is the way to go. So, until next time, guys, I'm Blackie for Sherman's Forge, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.